Hey guys, welcome back to another review video. And this is something a bit different today. This is the O Light O Lantern stretch. It's like a modern take of your usual kind of incandescent lanterns, maybe one of those normal kerosene lanterns. I remember having playing with one as a kid, and this is something quite interesting something different out there and it's a height adjustable lantern now how does it work basically hold the base and pull it out like that that's something pretty different i've not seen that in any other kind of lantern before and it does change that beam profile a bit to make the light more evenly dispersed there's a dual light source leds in there as well so you've got really warm leds and you've also got normal white leds as well also comes with a 16,000 milliamp hour battery so no issues in terms of that battery anxiety this thing's not going to run out of juice anytime soon and you know though it's marketed as a camping light i also think it makes a great desk lamp or just general ambient light to use around the house at night i tend not to turn on a lot of my ceiling lights because they're just too harsh you know when i'm trying to get to sleep especially the few couple hours before i go to bed and you know i I'm using this warm light mode all the time now, just so much more easier in the eyes. And then I mentioned it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So let's have a look at what you get in the box. And of course you get the lantern itself. You also get a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, which is uh, quite different because Olight often include proprietary charging in their lights, but as you can see here, just normal USB-C charging. So some of you might be quite pleased with that. This is the box that it comes in. There's some specifications. If you want to have a look and pause the video, just here on the back, lifetime warranty sticker here. It does apply only to some countries, Australia, China, France, Germany, and the US. A little close up of the exterior the O-Lantern stretch, and it's made almost entirely of metal. And to me, it feels a bit like stainless steel. Reminds me of the same grade of material you'd see in those high quality stainless steel kettles that you can buy. There are some polycarbonate parts as well. So here, for example, in the base, there's these rubber Feet as well and I like how Olight have added this really nice antiqued copper finish as well all these arms here are made of metal there's a little cage here as well that kind of acts to protect the LEDs and that little dome on the inside the tops made of metal as well it was very solid and you know, it's got a decent bit of weight to it as well. Had a look in the manual and it's IPX5 water resistant. Also 0 0.8 meter drop resistance, which I think is surprising for something like this lantern that's normally quite fragile. The head can be extended just by pulling onto the handle. Okay, so you <laughs> must hold onto the base in order to do this. I think that's good so that it doesn't extend out accidentally. It does require a little bit of little bit of force to pull out but nothing too difficult so a bit of a top-down view now and you can see there is a metal handle okay so you just pick it up from the top like that but there is also a secondary ring here so you know some of you might want to hook it onto something uh, you know I guess to a hook I guess or a pole or something like that the lantern sits very firmly on these four rubber feet doesn't move around and you can sort of turn it on press any of the buttons it doesn't budge at all most of the weight i'd say is distributed just in the base of the light where you've got obviously the battery in there Alrighty, so there are actually three sets of leds in this lantern so the warm leds which are rated at 130 lumens so 1900 to 2100 k very very warm kind of yellowish light they're produced that light is produced by these three tubular i don't know what you call them these sort of leds here at the bottom of the dome okay plus if you look right here on the top of the light just underneath where the handle is you'll see just a bunch of a configuration of these leds as well in there so those also consist 
produce these this really warm white light. The light that this lamp produces reminds me of those old incandescent light bulbs with the filaments. Now the white LEDs which are rated at 500 lumens are located just on the top section here under this kind of frosted bit of plastic and they produce light that's 3250 to 3750 k so though o light does call it white light it's definitely more on the warmer end but when you when you compare it to the these warm leds that produce light within about the 2000 k range this really does seem a lot cooler in comparison this little flared out section here on the top stops the glare so when you're holding it all the light is basically just reflected downwards or in front of you the dome itself appears to be made of polycarbonate so i gave it a bit of a flick it doesn't it definitely doesn't feel like glass i think that might be a good thing because if you drop it you're not going to shatter the glass the lantern is very easy to operate so you can see here on the sign there's a couple of uh, there's this dial so basically you switch that on like that and then rotate to the right to increase the brightness and to the left to decrease the brightness there's also that switch at the bottom which allows you to switch to the cooler white rubber port here so basically just pull that off and you can see that there's a bunch of ports there so there's just a normal usb a port to the left and then you've got a usb c port here to the right now the olight o lantern stretch supports 18 watt fast charging so you can attach even a phone charger to this lantern and it will charge a lot faster 16,000 milliamp hour battery so it's pretty you know, it's a huge battery capacity in my opinion and it's great for taking with you on road trips and another bonus is of course you can charge external devices and even with the USB-C port you can charge an external device as well the UI is really easy to figure out in fact I demonstrated it a bit before but you can select here warm light or white light so that switch just move it to whichever side you want you can switch it on and as you switch it on that's pretty much the lowest mode i believe that's 10 lumens on the warm mode all the way up to 100 plus lumens got the white mode that starts on 100 plus lumens and goes all the way up to 500 lumens you can also switch in between both of these lights quite seamlessly as you see here under here there's a little battery indicator so it's green at the moment but when it starts running down it turns red and then starts flashing red all right so i ran a bunch of tests just with my phone now they're not ceiling bounce tests i basically just put the phone right next to the light to test whether the leds step down or not it's just that it doesn't produce enough light really to to reflect off the roof but pretty much the same idea here and you can see this is the first test i ran with the warm leds and this was on the 100 percent mode so ramped all the way up to the top and i didn't see any reduction in light at all after the 30 minute mark pretty much just holds its output this is the second test i ran with just the white leds and you can see here it starts out at a hundred percent so 500 lumens then it steps down to just over 60 percent i would say about 65 percent after the 17 minute mark the o light o lantern stretch produces a nice diffused beam in all directions quite unique because using a flashlight normally you just get the beam at most 180 degrees but this just produces a you know diffuse light pretty much 360 degree light and the warm light i found has an interesting artifact pattern that creates a nice ambience the white light i think is more practical if you're actually using it at night to move around it's smoother no artifacts as well and like I mentioned before, you know, extending that telescopic pole actually increases the throw slightly. So some considerations that you need to be aware of. So the Olight O-Lantern stretch produces 500 
lumens max so it's definitely not the brightest light out there but it is still pretty bright pretty much for most purposes and you do get a very long runtime as well with this light second consideration i just thought you know for me i'd like a slightly larger handle you know i don't have gigantic hands but as you can see you know my fingers are just got a little bit of room under there maybe a thicker you know a thicker bit of metal there as well but end of the day does the trick still feels pretty sturdy i think olight have gone for a much more kind of sleeker low-key design the third consideration is of course this is pretty big you know it's larger than your average flashlight out there you know this is a convoy m21b and it also weighs a kilogram so yeah it's definitely not the most portable thing you're not going to fit this in your pocket but again, it's not a, you know, it's not a traditional flashlight. It's a lantern and it's quite nicely in a backpack. That's how I carried mine around when doing the beam shots. Anyway, fourth consideration is that there's a non-replaceable battery. So yeah, I don't know if there's a way to get in there to check it out, but yeah, it's not replaceable. Overall, I absolutely love this lantern and it's become a permanent fixture around my apartment. I use it pretty much every night now and Olight really know how to make these intuitive user-friendly products and you know, this O-Lantern stretch is certainly one of those. I like that modern take of the classic lantern. Just how practical it is, especially when you consider that it has a 250-hour runtime on low it's got reverse charging as well. So in an emergency, you can charge other devices. It's got multiple light sources. I think this is the perfect all-purpose lantern slash light to bring with you. And it's perfect when you're, like I said, going camping, road trips, carrying around the house, the backyard, the mood lighting. You can use it as a night light or even as a desk lamp due to the extendable head so if you're interested in this light go ahead and check the video description i've got a special discount voucher for the o light o lantern stretch if you have any questions as well just let me know down below and i'll get back to you if you enjoyed the video do me a big favor and click the like button it's one of the few ways that my video actually gets recommended to other people and if you want to see more flashlight reviews and keep up with the latest news make sure you subscribe just going for a little bit of a walk with the o light o lantern stretch and this is on the normal white led which is i'd say it's pretty bright significantly brighter than the warmer leds this is on the lowest mode okay and i can see where i'm walking there's a little bunch of rocks around here but i can just slowly step it up and this is the highest mode now and can see very well uh, where I'm walking. You can see sort of, hard to kind of describe it, but directly below me, as well as like a, a 360 degree beam. So it's uh, definitely, it's a different experience than using a usual flashlight, which just has normally a beam that's directed in front of you at the most, you know, 180 degree beam that you get from those TIR lenses at, at most, but yeah. Pretty, pretty good visibility. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of long range performance. If I pull, yeah, if I pull it up, it does give you a little bit, a little bit more range. Okay, just a tiny little bit more range, but decent for just walking around and seeing you know up to about 10 15 or so meters without much hassle and I'll switch it over to the warm LED now let's have a look it's definitely not as bright and there is an interesting kind of pattern beam pattern it's more it's got all these artifacts in it i think that was intentionally done to give it a more sort of i guess rustic or interesting look i suppose like you get with those incandescent 
lights. But yeah, certainly a lot brighter on the white LEDs and the beam is also smoother too. Okay, just walking through some of this grass now. Oh, damn, I probably shouldn't walk in here. It's all completely wet. <laughs> okay, some puddles, but I'll be all good. Uh, I'm going for a little walk with the O light, O lantern stretch. As you can see, you can pull up the head. Give it a little bit, a little bit more throw. So that when you've got it further down, most of the light seems to be concentrated beneath you. As you pull it up, it seems to just give a little bit more, more of a balanced beam, I suppose. But really not a huge difference. Okay, this is on the lowest mode of the white LED mode. So there's the white LED mode and then there is this warm LED mode here. So the white LED mode is a lot brighter. And just great visibility in all directions really, 360 degrees. But it's, I wouldn't say it's a, yeah, it's not too throwy. I can see all the way up into that bush. Kind of tints that bush up ahead, though I do have to hold the lamp up a little bit higher to see it. Okay, but all this stuff here, like these bits of tree, there's a log here and sticks and everything. You can see very well where you're walking, which is, of course, the most important thing. Lift it up a little bit and you can just uh, see further up. But most of the light, I'd say, is concentrated, you know, directly in front of you and mostly on the ground where you're walking. Go up here near to this bush. There's like a trail here as well. Here. Yeah. Oh. And if I switch over to the warm mode, you know, there's still enough light to see what's going on where I'm walking, but this is, I'd say, more of a... Yeah, it just doesn't have that nice smoothness that you get with the, with the white beam. Okay, there's lots of artifacts in the in the warm beam and I'm pretty sure it's just designed like that so that it looks, you know, more kind of old school, more like one of those incandescent lamps. The, though on the warm mode, but if I'm out walking about, I'm definitely going to switch to this one here just because it's so much brighter. And yeah, just gives me way more visibility, see what's going on. Light smoother as well. You can put it down, put it down somewhere as well. Let me just find a place to chuck it down on like a log or something here. Go about your business. Go back to that warm LED mode there. The white LEDs again. <laughs> 